Hi everyone, morning. Hope you all are doing fantastic. Sorry, I have not been able to post many videos as I have been busy with work. Today was a weekend, so I thought of exploring a nearby city from Bristol, which is called Bath, a city known not not only for its history but also for its beautiful green spaces. Today we'll be exploring some of Bath's most picturesque gardens, perfect for a peaceful retreat amidst the city's stunning Georgian architecture. As you can see, this is a beautiful juniper tree full of gins and sharis and euros. And this tree was shaped by nature, looking beautiful. This must be more than 200 year old tree. Right below this tree, I could see another juniper tree, which was like a juniper ground cover. Another beautiful tree. It had spread across nicely. This was the Royal Victoria Park and Garden. I saw those beautiful uh, flowers and some lovely and stunning catanisters with elegant red berries. Those were berries were literally washed with early drizzling rain. So they were looking well polished and radiant this is a breathtaking garden spread across acres of land that's the Avon River uh, in England which runs through several countries before emptying into the Bristol Channel Along its course, it passes through historic towns and cities, including Bath, where it's notable for its picturesque scenery and historical significance. Those yellow flowers were standing tall, admiring the sun and the beauty of nature. I also saw these radiant salvia flowers, they were look, looking really different, adding true colors to the garden with some beautiful geraniums, those were really alluring salvia flowers. really appreciate the the gardener or the creator of this that's a beautiful weeping style tree this is another tree which is lovely and attractive with full of berries i think this is the english holly The landscaping was done really nice. Uh, you can see those trees shaped in the form of bees. What else can you ask for in the mo in early in the morning? This was another tree full of uh, fruits. I don't know the name of this tree. If you are aware, please do comment. So many squirrels and birds eating those fruits. 
The landscaping was also filled with uh, maple trees. This is one maple with its radiant colors and really looking graceful. This was another one. It has already started to change color. Another English holly full of red berries. The birds must be really happy in this garden. Again, moving towards the Avon River, uh, saw those beautiful boats lined up as if they were waiting for someone. And those trees in the background were really uh, stunning and alluring. And the English holly full of berries. Overall, an outstanding morning. lovely landscapes post that I moved to the circus area this circus area is very popular in Bath in the 1800 the circus residents enclosed the central part of the open space as a garden now the central area is grassed over and is home to a group of five large London plane trees which are believed to be more than 200 years old. They were planted around 1820. The London plane trees are very tolerant of atmospheric pollution and road compaction and for this reason it is popular urban roadside tree which you can find in the United Kingdom. Surrounding uh, the central part are beautiful row houses. I think there are around 141 houses surrounding this uh, park. I spent quite a, some time in uh, this place admiring those trees and looking around. Those are the houses I was talking about. It has around 141 houses. And these trees are right at the center. Post that, I moved to one of the beautiful Bath Abbey. Uh, the Abbey Church of St. Peter and St. Paul, commonly known as Bath Abbey, is a parish church of the Church of England. And uh, here I could really feel uh, the, you know, the music that was played was mesmerizing. And uh, I'll take you there in a while but really admire those trees you can enjoy the music It was really nice and beautiful morning with people admiring those lovely architecture. This is the back side of the Bath Abbey with equally beautiful architecture. Post that, it was too late and I decided to take the return bus back to my hotel and I really took videos and pics of some of beautiful landscapes and uh, houses with alluring gardens, very attractive and very picturesque. So you can enjoy the rest of the video. That wraps up our tour of Bath's beautiful gardens. 
whether you are here for a short visit or a longer stay these green spaces offer the perfect retreat in this historic city these are community gardens or allotments where people do gardening together in a bigger piece of land they own smaller chunks in a bigger piece uh, this helps people who have uh, small houses without gardens or flats and as you're aware november december is a time frame when i normally repot my trees so really planning to get back home and uh, repot my trees and at the same time uh, share with you the experiences that i have or i'll be going through and uh, yes yeah, please stay tuned for those videos and uh, Thank you so much for watching today. Enjoy the rest of the video and uh, have a nice day guys. Thank you.